Mako's Macan Adventure today at the Happy Hawker Coffee Shop in Bukit Batok. We're having the traditional Singapore breakfast of Kaya Toast Set. Welcome back to Mako's Macan Adventure. Today we are having the Singaporean breakfast of choice for many, that is the Kaya Toast Set. So here in the coffee shop or a hawker, you can order a Kaya Toast Set, which is Kaya Toast, a cup of tea, and some eggs. Currently our eggs are cooking away. The eggs are gonna be what's known as half boiled. So They've been put into hot water. Um, I was told to wait eight minutes. Eight minutes are up, so I now need to break into these eggs and see what we've got. So let's give it a go. Let me move these away. So I'm gonna fish these eggs out. They are, they are hot. So I'm just gonna let the hot water come off. Let them cool down a little. I don't quite have asbestos hands, so I find it a little bit difficult to deal with. But let's give it a go. So first one, give it a crack. Oh, look at that! It just pops out and it just oozes, just oozes in. So after eight minutes in the hot water, I've now got the eggs here. So we can see they are they are runny, they are gloopy. So they're known as half boiled eggs. Here in here in Singapore known as half boiled eggs. You might say they're uncooked elsewhere. So what we have for our breakfast is we've got kaya toast, which is kaya we have a look there, you've got a slab of butter with some kaya spread. Kaya spread is almost almost a local jam so that's like a jam that's been made out of coconut and egg then we've got some half boiled eggs these eggs are gloopy and very runny and on the eggs we put a little bit of pepper and a little dash of soy sauce give that a little dash all over and i've got a little spoon here Give it a go. So I'm gonna first off grab a bit of that Kaya toast. I'm gonna to break it off. I'm gonna give it a good dump in the eggs. As I give it a good dump, I'm breaking into that yolk. So the, the yolk is very runny, but so is the white. It's delicious, so. The jam the kaya is really sweet and the little block of butter that we have in the middle of it gives creaminess and then as you dip into your egg it's gloopy it's that what you would expect a nice runny yolk mm. Mm. let's have a little mouthful could put a little bit more soy sauce but the soy sauce gives that salty that umami taste that goes with it. If you're in the West, I suppose you would think of this almost as, you think of this as I've got jam on toast or I've got boiled eggs with soldiers. But what we've done is we've given it an Asian twist. So instead of having strawberry jam, we've got coconut and egg kaya, coconut and egg based kaya. The eggs, they're half cooked. We're gonna throw some soy sauce and some pepper in. So that really gives it a different flavor, a different, different entity all together to eggs and soldiers and jam on toast. I'm gonna to grab another bit. Look at that, gonna grab a bit of that. Really runny, you can see it's just absolutely dripping off. Mm. It shouldn't be this good. It shouldn't taste this nice, but it does. It really does. You don't put jam on toast into your boil. You don't put jam on toast on your soldiers before you put them into boiled eggs. I don't normally put soy sauce in, but I tell you what, it's it's a great combo. Whoever thought this up, they're a genius. 
And as part of the Kayato set, you get a cup of tea or a cup of coffee with it. The tea we have is a local tea, so referred to as te. It's very dark in colour, it's brewed behind the till. And instead of milk, like we've seen with other drinks here, it's with condensed milk. So what that does, that gives us sweetness, which is coming through, but also silkiness to the to the feel, as it's in that mouth feel. So it's a silky cup of tea. And the tea itself has been, well, very well brewed. Brewed for a long time, potentially stewed. So it's a very strong tea, very strong, very sweet, and silky as well. But I'm gonna get a bit more of this. So if you have a look, this is absolutely gloopy. It's, it's not even really sticking to the toes. Mm. Delicious. set breakfast with our kaya on toast, our soft boiled eggs, barely boiled eggs and a cup of tea to wash it down. What I would say is this breakfast is greater than the sum of its parts. I don't think I would be interested in these half boiled eggs or on soft boiled eggs on their own. Not really sure if I'd be that bothered about the kaya toast on its own. but combined together with a little bit of pepper, a little bit of soy sauce, dipping your kaya toast into those soft boiled eggs. It's just put them all together, it's really, really good. I can't, I can't say it enough. Anyone who uh, would be unsure on this breakfast, I would just recommend, just go for it. I know it doesn't, to a westerner or something outside, it may seem like, a, like it's unappetizing, but I'd really recommend going for it. It's really nice and sweet. It's a little bit sticky. The eggs are nice as well, and the soy sauce just gives that little nice Asian flavor to it. Me personally, I don't think it's substantial enough for my breakfast. It's not actually a lot of food, although with the eggs, the sugar content, it probably is calorific enough to be your breakfast. Um, I like this more as a mid-morning snack. But again, that's almost, if it is calorific enough to be a breakfast, it's like a second breakfast. I enjoy it anyway. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Thank you.